Now for the next step. We fin are finished cleaning out the eye. If you can see it, then it's now a lot less blotched than it was before. What we're going to do now is add more depth and color to the chitin that is most of the body. For this we are going to use Teddy Bear Tan and Terracotta in that order. The Teddy Bear first, the, the Terra later. And what we're basically going to do, this is probably the longest part of the painting video, is we are going to be using the same technique that put all the red down into the former adrenal glands and we are going to brush that across here avoiding the edges of this we want it bright on the outside and dark on the inside so I'll do the first bit here across the head and then I will do the rest of it off camera. Again, this is going to require quite a bit of drying time due to the high consistency of water in it. Actually, I think you can feel free to just brush it straight across and it'll set in the crevices there. Alright. Well, we are going to let that first part dry to make sure that it dries with the paint going down into the crevices. We are going to be using what is called a helping hand, I believe. I'm just going to clamp it like that and let it sit like such. I'll come back to that in about 15 minutes or so and we will see how it is been, how it's going. Alright, so that is mostly dry. If you can see it then the paint all can mostly congealed down here so there wasn't the right mixture to of paint to water so we're going to go for it again this time allowing more paint to mix in with our water. Hopefully this will put enough pigment in to actually make a noticeable effect. Sorry if my brush strokes there were a bit erratic. But basically just move your paint brush around any way that you feel like you need to to make sure that you get the paint across the entire model. Now that there's more actual more pigment in there than before, then hopefully <clears throat> it will move slower down, which will allow the pigment particles to collect along and get darker as it goes towards an edge here. Again, we'll just let that sit for a while and dry, and I'll get back to you on that. You can already see how pronounced of an effect it's having. So it's dry now. As you can see it's added a bit more of a uh, battle-worn, I guess, look to it. So the next color we're going to use, and using the same technique, is our terracotta. After this, then I'll be doing the rest of it off screen, and you can all see the after effect out. And again, we will let that sit and dry. I will br afterwards, I will briefly show you the effect that it has on the model, and we will take a break, or you will take a break, and I will finish up 
the chitin, this color of chitin. All right, there we go. <clears throat> it is now applied. It looks very, it looks a lot darker than what we originally intended, but that's easy enough to fix when we're done with all this. We can just dry brush some more of our sandstone back over it and fix that problem. So, now I'm going to finish off the rest of the chitin off camera. As I've said, what, three times now? So, next time you see him, he will be a bit darker. Alright, so, we have now finished ultra wetting the carapace. Uh, you can now see that it's a bit better than just the bright white that it was before. We are almost done. We have just a few more things to do. For these next steps, we will need, or for these final steps, I should say, we will need all of our purples. And we will also be needing our metallic sequin black. However, we're going to be needing less than a drop, less than a drop of that. So let's get the purples out of the way. With this, you want to go lightest to darkest, which let me see. Yeah, I believe that the that it would go in this order then. These two are really close though, so if I get them backwards, then. Sorry. <clears throat> now, what these are going to be up for is the ex is the above carapace. It's the armor that's on top of the armor, basically. So let's find a good pointing brush. Places like here on the wings, this top part. And we're also going to be using it on these parts here of the ad former adrenal glands. So let's start with our Concord grape base and get cracking. What we're going to want to do for these parts here is take our brush, get some of the purple on it, if I can ever find where the brush is here, and then just wash them and then just not wash, uh, just rub some of it off, so kind of a halfway between dry brushing and regular. Uh, Beast of War calls it wet brushing, I believe. It was used on the uh, Space Wolf Terminators. Now, unlike the other areas, this isn't going to need a dark. This isn't going to need the other two to make it darker because we're only lightly applying the paint onto an already black background so it will darken the paint noted significantly so there we have that <clears throat> so wash off our brush yeah that was a lot more purple on our table than we needed and now we're going to use the purple velvet. We're going to need progressively less and less of these purples. This is going to be on the inside of this, and the purple and our lich purple is going to be on the inside of that. The lich purple is basically going to be little more than a line. All right, so we have our purple on the wings now. It's not a prominent feature, it's just a nice little accentuation. If you think that the Concord grape is too light of a base, which I use it because it provides a nice base, but it is too light, then you can throw on some purple ink afterwards and it'll darken all the colors. And it does a really nice job. All right, there we go. And now we have one more color to use, our metallic sequin black. It's probably too small to see on this camera. Let's see if I can get a good zoom. What we're going to be doing is we're going to just place a drop, a dab here in the eye to provide an iris or pupil, my bad. 
So we just take our tiny, tiny amount. If you can't see this, I'm sorry, I'm being careful, so I want to not smudge anything. All right, there we go. One Parasite of Mortrex. All right, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. In the look into the future, there might be more on its way. Happy painting and gaming.